Greetings and welcome to another feral video. This one was actually inspired by a comment from King Gilgamesh01. He basically said he wished the switch would reset the system. Now I don't know if he means reset the all the doors that are connected to it or reset the number pad. Either way it got me thinking and I like things that get me thinking. So just for you King Gilgamesh and anyone else who happens to be interested I'm going to show you how to make a switch that will close all the doors and reset the number pad or just do one of those things if you want it to so it can do both or you can connect it to one and it will do one. you know what just watch it's gonna be great so let's do it now this is actually the exact same one I built in the tutorial not a remake it's the same one um, except for super realism I added in a door up there where everyone puts doors for super realism and it's connected to this inverter so when the lights on the door will close and for this switch to work properly you do need the inverter set up like that so yeah let's do it um, oh, I did some testing. I haven't been here in months, but I did notice that the green light doesn't always come on every time. It, it comes on when you open the door, but not when you close the door. Now, if you like that, that's great. You can leave it as is. I don't. I'm going to fix it. Um, I'm not going to show you that's what it does. Just, you know, trust me. That's what it does. So, let's do that. Fix it. And the problem has been caused by this automatic switch. So what we're going to do is take this little guy out and we're just going to put an inverter in place of it, like so. Just click. And the problem's fixed. And once again, just trust me, it's fixed. It is. So, now that we have a nicely working system, I'll show you how to put the switch in that will do the things I said that it will do before. And I'm just going to put my wall switch on the number pad right about there. Perfect. And power it. I also just want to turn it off because it makes me happy. So I did. Now if you just want it to close the doors you can take out the switch there, put an inverter in but you can still get the door to open for like half a second by putting in the correct code and you can't get it to reset the number pad and I don't like that so I'm going to do my way which is pretty easy so these are the modifications you make put down your switch on the mud circle oh yeah I'm calling this thing my mud circle um, if you can guess why I'm calling it Mud Circle, leave a comment below and I'll pin you for fun. There you go, competition. So, if you can work out why, leave a comment. I'll leave a clue at the end. So, take out this wire and put in an inverter in its place. Not on the wire, obviously, but somewhere where you can connect it to the thing above it. That is bloody beautiful. And then connect the two together. Put a wire, not on any of the other connections, on there and there. Connect the side of it to the bottom and then connect the bottom of it to the trigger. So we just put three little red wires in just there. And the next thing you put in is an automatic switch. Now, my perfect little spot is right there, because as you can see, when the connectors come out, it means it's connecting to a wire. So, I want it to connect to the top of that inverter on one side, just like that. You can put it somewhere else and connect it via a wire, that's fine, but I like that set up there. Then run a happy little wire across the top of it like that. Just as so. So, it looks like that. Then connect that straight to your switch. And voila, that will now reset the door. Neil. So when you turn the switch on, 
it will actually turn the whole circuit off. So now that door will not open if even if you enter the correct code. Not even as a pulse, nothing. And when you turn the switch back off, everything will turn back on and be ready to go again. So you can plug that system onto every door you've got. And when you flick that switch, it'll close all the doors. In fact, I'll just quickly demonstrate that it works. Green light, and then the door opens. Yay! And then you can just toggle that switch on, toggle that switch off. And the doors will close, and the system's ready to go again. Now, if you want it to reset the numpad, all you need to do is... Oh, actually, one little thing I will share. Turn the switch on. It might happen, it might not happen. doesn't always happen, but we'll see. So, connect the side of the switch to the top of this inverter here. This inverter here is a reset, so just connect the switch to that. And it didn't happen, but that's okay. Sometimes you get, if the switch is turned on, when you can make that connection, it'll light up all across the top here. All those will turn blue, and all these lights will turn on. And it might freak you out, but that's fine. It's just a weird little glitch that happens sometimes. And when you turn it off, all the lights will go out. And then when you turn it back on, it'll be like mine was, just the red light. So, like I said, it doesn't always happen, but it does happen sometimes. So if you happen to have the switch on when you make that connection, don't freak out when everything turns blue and everything lights up and you go, oh my god, I broke it. No, you haven't. Just try turning that off and then back on. It should just start working like normal. So there you go. So now when that's connected, if we enter our number, it will come on for a second, but then it turns off. So if you've got your switch off, the red light will go off. And you start entering your code and you go, oh no, I've entered the wrong number. I'll do me poo button. That's not a poo button, that's a poo switch. Your poo switch and that resets the number pad so you can start again. It will also reset the combination you've entered on the doors, which is a good thing. So if you've you know, entered one, two, but then you've entered five, which is the wrong one, and you go, oh no. You know, half of it's activated, but the other half's not. When you toggle this, it will reset that first half, so you can start the code again. And it works like a charm, as per usual. I am very happy with it. So that's how you can add a switch in to either just reset the number pad. So if you put the switch in and just plug it into that, it will reset the number pad. If you put these in and then plug it into that it'll reset the door as well and for every door that you've got it connected to um, and that's about all as a point of interest when you do have the switch on it does still send out a pulse so even though the number pad won't really work No, you still can't open any door. So if you have that connected to the number pad trigger up there, no door will actually open. Even if it's not connected up like this as well, you still can't open the doors. And then when you turn that off, it'll work normally. So that's my little tutorial on that little extra thing there for you. Um, thanks for watching. If you're still watching, the clue for the why I'm calling it a mud circle is circle ain't spelled correctly. There you go. Circle is not spelt correctly. It ain't spelt correctly. That's my clue. So leave a comment, like if you liked it, um, subscribe. I'm having to make some more videos, um, maybe even on some other games too and improve stuff, make things better like the content and special effects who wants special effects? everybody wants special effects so, thanks for watching hopefully we'll see you out there, enjoy!